Hello and welcome to LinkedIn Profile Perfection. Easy tips to stand out and shine on LinkedIn. My name is Gertrude Maché and I'm going to take you through a few tips on how you can enhance search engine optimized your LinkedIn profile. So the first thing that people see when they come onto your profile is your photograph. It's important in step number one, step number one, choose a great profile picture. It's important that your profile picture is the first thing that people see. It's critical for making that good impression. Tips for a good picture is one, invest in getting a professional photo shoot. Use a close-up of your face where you are looking directly into the camera and smile. Try and have a neutral background, dress professionally, and definitely avoid sunglasses, hats, or anything that is too casual. So let me show you a few examples of profile pictures that don't really work. This profile picture doesn't work because this young man is looking down. Now, if Daniel had looked up directly into the camera, it would be a really powerful profile picture to have. They say that the eyes are the mirrors to the soul. So if you want people to be able to engage with you, to see who you are, your eyes are very, very important. Unless you are blind, please don't wear sunglasses. This particular individual is visually impaired. This particular individual is visually impaired. You can see that he works for Vision Australia. So he would be forgiven for wearing dark sunglasses. So unless you are visually impaired, do not wear sunglasses. This profile picture, although a great picture, is too far away. This young lady's face cannot be seen very clearly. So make sure that you are using all of the space to fill it with your picture. The next one is this journalist. She has successfully put herself in a radio TV network, showing what she does for work. Although her picture is small, she has expanded by putting a bigger picture on her banner. So she can be forgiven for that. So now let's go onto my profile and I will show you what I've done with my photographs. So this is my profile on LinkedIn. And you can see that I have picked a picture that is very bright. I wear my vibrant colors, which is part of my branding strategy. But depending on whether you are in fashion, if you are a lawyer or an accountant, you might wear something that's more corporate without as much color. But bright colors are part of my personal branding strategy. You can see that I have filled the space with my face. I'm smiling and because I'm dealing with people and need to build trust and rapport. I find that smiling in my photographs makes me more personable and people can connect with me more authentically. Your banner is also very, very important. I have put the words that describe who I am and what I do. I'm a strategic communicator, an innovative thought leader, a passionate advocate for children's, uh, for women and children's rights. I've been featured in three TED events, and I've also added those three TED events on my banner. This is because I coach people 
on how to speak from the heart and land their first TED talk. So without saying a lot in words, I'm really communicating who I am and what I do. You'll also notice that I've used different colors for the wording. So I'm not sticking to one color. This is not just all white or all yellow or all red. The red, of course, you know, is part of the TED branding. So it really makes it pop on a black background. And if you look very carefully, everything is matching with the clothes that I'm wearing. I've picked up on the colors of my dress to write the text on the banner. So everything I've done is very deliberate. And now let me show you how you can assess whether your photograph that you've selected is a good photo. There is a website called Snapper Photo Analyzer, and I'll show you how that works now. So Snapper Photo Analyzer is a free app online where you can simply go in, upload the photograph that is on your LinkedIn profile. So when you click there, it allows you to log into your LinkedIn account. It grabs the photograph and it analyzes it for you real time. It takes a few minutes and then it will give us a report on how good this particular photograph is. So I got 78% with this picture. And there is an analysis that shows what was good about the picture and what wasn't. So it says here that my smile was good, not perfect, but good. It's not a bad smile. You're showing some teeth, which is good. You should show a tiny bit more of them. Try practicing those facial muscles a little bit more to get a broader smile. The next thing is that my jawline was perfect and I was squinching. So squinching means you close your eyes just slightly. You lift the lower part of your eyelid up and it makes your eyes pop. It's used for photo shoots. Most photographers use this as well. So in short, smiles are good. So don't be too serious. Based on this evidence, the ideal business photo smile needs to strike a good balance. Teeth should be showing and the corners of your mouth should be pointing up. Don't go too far. A laughing smile where there is a gap between your teeth. That's a bad thing in a business context. The next thing it's assessed is the composition of the photograph. Zooming in is good. The three-part rule is good. And the background is okay. So it gives an explanation of everything that can be adjusted to make my photograph look better. Now let's look at the editing of the picture. The brightness is perfect. The contrast is perfect. The sharpness is okay. Saturation is bad and color temperature is good. So again, it is analyzing my photo and giving me feedback. So that's what Snapper can do. Now let's go in and make a slight adjustment to the photograph and make it closer and see what that analysis will give us. Now I have changed my profile picture. Let's do that assessment again and see if the photograph I've chosen now is going to be considered as better. So I go back, I log into my profile 
and it should pick up the new picture. It's now assessing it. And let's see if this is a better image and the way that I've positioned myself is better than the previous one. So now with 77%, the smile is perfect, the jawline is perfect, the squinching is good. So I actually scored higher on my face. It's 93 out of 100. The composition, however, not so good. 64%. The editing, the sharpness and saturation can be improved. And the color temperature. So now that we see that this is a better photograph, let's go back and I will enhance that picture and see the difference it will make. Now let's look at Now let's look at the words that are directly underneath your photograph. This is called your headline and I will show you how to optimize your headline. So the headline is the text that is underneath your name. And it's like an ad for your profile. How does it, how can you make it better? Use your job function, your company name, and any important keywords that somebody could type into a search engine to find you. And then add a unique factor that grabs attention. So for instance, if you look at my profile, my job title is founder of the Diversity Connector and the Her Story Circle. I'm in FinTech and EduTech. I'm a DEI consultant, a philanthropy consultant, a podcaster, and TEDx speaking coach. I also mentioned that I'm a three-time TED speaker, so that's something unusual about me. And I also use this as an opportunity to say what I'm looking for. So I'm seeking executive and non-executive board director opportunities. So I'm actually putting it out there to anyone who comes onto my website that if they have any board opportunities, I would be interested in being a board member. So now let's craft a strong summary. The summary and the purpose of the summary, this is where you explain who you are, what you do, and how you help others. The things that should be included is a highlight of your skills and strengths. Add some social proof, like links to your website, a blog, or YouTube videos. Make it easy to read and make it engaging. For example, in your summary, you can link directly to your work. For example, if you have a YouTube channel that is showcasing your skills, you can link that directly to your profile. So now, if I show you what I've done with mine, it's easy for you to see how I've really optimized the summary section. So this is where the summary is. I've given a brief bio of who I am. And I have gone and linked 
some important features. For instance, I have a newsletter on LinkedIn that I want people to subscribe to. I put in a link of my pitch video when I won the New Zealand Australia Women in Technology Awards. I put a post of something very personal. This is a message I recorded when my mother died. I have a video of me on YouTube speaking at the Palladium Theatre in London and myself being interviewed at TVNZ. So you can keep adding more things to your profile. My first TEDx talk is also on here. So I hope what I've shared is going to help you optimize your profile. Feel free to leave a link of your LinkedIn profile in the comments below, and I will give you some personalized feedback. Thank you so much. I hope you found this video helpful. Hit the like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with more tips and tricks.